Let's talk about some tips when it comes to SEO and using the no-code platform called Card. Now, Card is a one-page website builder that makes it easy for anybody to create landing pages, form pages, sales pages, and also profile pages too. Now, you can customize Card to create multi-page websites and also membership websites, but it's known for using a one-page template. Now, when it comes to SEO, this is going to be a little bit more challenging because a lot about SEO is about creating content on blogs so that you can create specific posts to target specific keywords. Now, this video is I'm gonna focus on the best SEO tips in general. Instead, we're gonna get into the technical aspects of how to optimize card for search engine optimization purposes. Now, if you want to learn more about building with no-code tools, then check out our tutorials on nocode.mba. We have hundreds of tutorials for you, videos, we have a forum, a great community as well. So if you want to build something with no-code tools, definitely check out that community. Now, the first thing I want to show is in the settings page. And you can navigate to this page here by just clicking uh, publish the site. And then over here at the top, you have settings. Now, at the moment, these have the little icon on there because you need a pro account. Now the pro account runs at $19 a year to have this. And one of the things that you need to know about with this as well is that it allows for a custom domain name. Now we'll talk about why that's important in a second, but also some tips if you're using the card URL. But what I want to show here is a couple of things. Firstly, Google Analytics ID. Now when it comes to SEO, it's important to know where your traffic is coming from and what people are searching for. Now, with this as well, you might need to do some tinkering to get the search console working, which is going to give you the keywords. But this is the first stage to get a Google Analytics account so that you can track how many people are visiting your website. Now, if we scroll down, this is the next important thing here, meta tags. Now, this can be a little bit confusing when it comes to using it on card. So it might just take a little bit of time to get used to this type of format. But what we're doing is we're adding meta tags to our website to tell Google what the website is about. And if we go to the documentation on card, this shows you how to do this. So adding meta tags requires pro standard or higher. And if you need to add tags to your site, follow these steps. And here is talking more about getting verified for your Google site. But if we go over to this page here, um, I'll leave a link to this blog post where it's going to talk about meta tags, what they are and how to use them for SEO. So you can just follow this article, learn about how best to use meta tags for SEO, and then you can make changes on the setting page over here. So that's the first thing I wanted to talk about in addition to setting up Google Analytics is to do meta tags. Now, the next thing to talk about is SSL. Now, this is going to say that your website is secured and encrypted so that people who come onto your website know that it's safe in terms of it's not gonna steal their data if they enter their data into it with everything being good. So with card.co URL, so yoursite.card.co, this is automatically enabled. Now you want to get your own custom domain in the vast majority of cases for a variety of reasons. Firstly, it looks more professional. Secondly, if you move your website somewhere else, then it means that you can just point it to a different website builder instead of having to tell everybody that your website has a new URL completely. And it can help with SEO purposes as well. Now, for custom domains, just follow this little guide here. It says an SSL certificate with, will be automatically issued once the DNS records for the site's domain or subdomain are in place and have fully propagated. So with your card pro account, it means that you'll be able to use the SSL within card to then make your site secure. So those are some of the technical things when it comes to card SEO. I just wanna share a couple of other things as well to help you. And just to say why card is a great website builder, especially for people who don't want to have highly customized websites. So firstly, it's responsive. It's gonna set up the different templates to have them in this responsive mode. And you can always just toggle this between laptop and then also your mobile to then see what it's gonna look like on those types of sites. This is massive when it comes to SEO, but most website builders these days have this functionality built in and so does card. And then the next thing is just talking about 
how to set up the website so it's quick and also so that you have a lot of keywords on your page. Now, because it's not a website where you're gonna have multiple pages in most cases, you're gonna to have to think about how best to set this up so that Google can find you when people search for the relevant keywords. And there are various things you can do. Firstly, add more content to the page. So if you're optimizing it for a specific keyword and then long tail keywords, you can include the long tail keywords in the different headlines that you have on this page. And then the next thing to think about also is just to make sure your images are optimized so they're not taking too long to load. Loading page time is a big factor when it comes to ranking in the search engines. So making sure that your images are set up correctly. And then the next thing is time on page. So if people are on your page for a while and they're actually using the page to get the answer that they want, then that's telling Google, okay, this person has found the relevant result for that search key term and then they'll boost up your site if this is better than sites above you in the rankings. So there's other things you can do to make sure that it's readable, that people engage with your content, and it just goes back to all the best SEO practices of creating something that people want to use. They want to read, they want to watch a video on your website, they're gonna take action on your website. You're giving people what they want when they search for something. So those are the basic guidelines and steps and tips when it comes to setting up your card website for SEO purposes. Now, if you want to learn more about how to build with no code, then go to nocode.mba, click the courses here, and then click browse all tutorials. And you'll come to this page where you can look at the different courses that we have on offer. So we have building apps with AI, it's a new course, eight hours worth of material, and that's just one course. The ultimate guide to Figma, Bubble, Webflow, no code 101 that learn the fundamentals, great if you're just getting started with no code, or if you want to browse through this, if you have some experience with no code as well. And it just goes on and on. Lo lots of different courses for you to get into the nitty gritty of no code and also to get that 10,000 foot view. So the link for that will be in the description. If you found this video useful, please click like and then share it with a friend and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Okay, thank you for watching. Speak to you soon. Bye for now.